Hi guys, welcome back to Mike's Carpet Adventures. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own uh, fishing goo. Uh, so this is goo that you can take to the bank with you and it has a multitude of uses, uh, PVA bags, mesh, etc. Um, even maybe gluing your own bait is something that I tend to do. So I'm going to show you how to turn this basically into this in the space of about 10-15 minutes. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy this video. For anyone new to the channel, thank you again for, for joining. Uh, this channel is very much about taking you along uh, for my carping adventures. Um, and also, you know, I'm gonna show you a few different tips. So if you have a look at the rest of my channel, you're gonna see a lot of different tips on there, night fishing, uh, general kind of day to day. There's, there's a lot on there. So um, obviously we're in the kind of lockdown at the minute. So this is a good kind of passing time for you, if you like, uh, but importantly, you know, what I love about this, and um, I'll come to Corder in a second, but what I love about this really is um, you can mess around with the flavours. You can choose exactly what flavours you want to use. You can combine two or three different flavours. Literally, you know, the world's joy surrounds on, on that. So um, Corder itself, just to point out, I really like Corder products. This is not a Corder bashing video. So I use Corder's um, kind of terminal tackle at times. Do what works for you. Certain um, flavors, like anything, are going to work at different lakes. So um, I want you to you know, have a have a look at this. Mess around. Um, I'll put the ingredients below for you, um, so you can you know you know where to get. You, know, you can go to the supermarket and you know what you need to get. Um, so as I said, I'll run through the ingredients step by step and what you need to do, the process, etc. This will take. 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. Um, but I would encourage you to stay right through to the end of the video because uh, there's going to be a few extra bits that you know you can you can add in to give you a bit of an edge. So um, thank you everyone for joining me and let's get straight to it. Okay guys, so let's kick off. Um, so we've got some uh, basic ingredients and basic tools that we're going to need uh, in no particular order here. So um, you're going to need uh, a little kind of throwaway tub. Uh, I mean, use your imagination, whatever you can basically destroy. Um, then I'd say use that because you know we're going to be using uh, some some things here that is going to cause a few issues on the uh, staining front. You don't want the wife having a go. So um, you'll basically get a nice simple tube. Now I've gone for the particular um, these quite simple things. You'll find them in most kind of kitchen areas within supermarkets normally normally hidden. You never even know they're actually there. So they're just kind of cup sizes and mills, um, which are a lot easier to kind of measure out. Uh, now I've got obviously a spoon here. I will use a spoon, but you can just use a spoon. It, it's not really going to make a, a great deal of difference. Um, so we've got the uh, the base, which as you can see is a vegetable glycerin. Now um, this is obviously in a big bottle. You're not going to get it necessarily like this at a supermarket. I, I doubt it very much unless it's a wholesaler. So um, you're going to find, um, which takes me quite nicely on, but you're going to find them in this size top. And I'll put a picture on the, the screen for you now so you can see exactly what it looks like. Um, but uh, in essence, you know, you're going to need that particular glycerin. Now, they're normally about kind of uh, 90p each or so. Uh, they're not normally very expensive. I mean, you can get them sometimes for, for under that. But personally, if you're going to be doing a few of these batches and you're going to be messing around with different flavours, then um, you want something of this size, to be honest, one litre. Uh, cost effective wise, it's much cheaper than these in the long run. If you are doing a couple of batches just to test out, just get these ones. Uh, it's still going to be cheaper than, than normal. So um, that's the basic ones. Now we have a, uh, a food colouring, use your imagination here. Um, and then we have uh, a quite simple flavouring. So I've gone for kind of a, an orange extract. Um, and the good thing about with these flavourings, guys, is that you, you you can use your imagination uh, and i'll go into a few extras um as i say shortly but um real simple you can have orange with lemon you can have orange with mint um and then it's just a standard cheap measuring jug this was about 50p from uh, sainsbury's um so again all of this stuff you're going to really want to be able to throw away and i put this uh, crappy old sheet down because trust me it can make a bit of a mess so um, that's kind of what we need to uh, to get everything underway. So let's start with uh, step one. Okay, guys. So step one, uh, we have the uh, vegetable glycerin. So um, we want to have around kind of maybe you can kind of see on here or not. It's around around there. You can see like one fifty mark. So you probably want to just under that. I mean, uh, the particular bottles that we that we discussed, you know, they're about kind of a hundred mil or so. Um, but it's it's no problem if you've got a little bit of. A little bit over now um let's start off relatively slowly don't want it to be too much that's about 100 there let's give it a bit extra there we go so it's just over 100 mil um so step one make sure we got 100 mil worth of glycerin nice and straightforward to start with 
Okay, so step two, the glycerin is now in the pot. I'm going to do this by, by general hand just because I'm, I'm used to how much I need to put in. But uh, the easiest possible way, you can just get you know a couple of capfuls there and it should be more, more than good enough. Um, this, uh, again, is a bit like the glycerin. You can find this in various different colours, yellow, green, red. Again, use your imagination. This is this is what I love about this particular mix. You know, when you do this yourself, you can mix your flavors, you can mix your colorings. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I'd probably say stick to one coloring. Actually, saying that, uh, I don't need to put yellow and 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 red in, for example. It's not necessarily going to do any do you any favors other than waste money. So, um, full coloring can kind of go in next, and I'll be. This is quite concentrated stuff, so. So that's pretty much all you need there. So that's going to be um, kind of two mils to start with, roughly. Um, and we're going to want to kind of mix this through. So the glycerin, as you can kind of see, it's quite gloopy at the minute. It's you know, it's nowhere near um, at, the, at the actual position of being done. So give this a good mix through. Um, it's going to be constantly mixed, so it's not the end of the world. I'll, I'll kind of get through this as quick as I can for you. But um, either way, you know, get the colouring done. There we go, pretty, pretty decent mix, pretty straightforward. Um, so we've got the, uh, the that, that particular uh, mix in there now. Um, now this is where you can really start to use your imagination. So as I said, flavorings, um, same uh, premise. However, with this, you're going to want probably 10 to 15 mils. Um, it's, it's, it's quite strong stuff, um, and you'll be smelling it for a while. Okay, so um, we've got it nicely all into like a 15 mil. You've got, this is a 15 mil spoon, but you've got just under 15 mil. So um, again, just get that straight in there. As much as you can, don't kind of waste any. Um, so, I mean, on average, 10 to 15 mil is what they advise. And if you buy your own flavorings, which again, I'll show you those extra bits in a second. If you buy your own flavorings, they'll mention generally kind of 10 to 15 mil. Um, and, that, and that's... More than, more than suitable. Again, you need to play around with what works for you. I mean, if you're mixing a couple of different flavorings, you want to obviously half that. You don't want to be putting two lots of 15 mil flavorings into uh, an actual mix. So um, that's kind of step two, really, then, guys. So you've mixed your coloring, you've mix, mixed your uh, your food kind of uh, side of things. And as you can see, I mean, that's it's quite it's quite watery. I mean, don't get me wrong. You, you could probably get away with that. Uh, it depends how you want to use it, but no. Bear in mind, you know, glycerin is um, it's kind of PVA friendly, so this is going to go into PVA bags. Personally, I don't want it running out like water. So step three, we'll show you exactly what you need to do to get this thickened up. Okay, so step three, we've now got the corn flour. So um, naturally, you know, the corn flour does not come um, in this kind of uh, size bag, but this is just for your purposes here. So um, corn flour, again, you can buy at any kind of supermarket. You want to start with um, not too much there, so it's... It's a very light scattering, but you don't want to basically get all the all your say you're using 50 grams for argument's sake. You don't want to get all 50 grams in. Um, apologies for the camera work, um, but you want to get all that in there, literally straight away. You know you want to try and mix that in. Should eradicate any kind of lumps and clumps you're going to get. So you know you give that a good, a good mix. I mean I know from experience this will be nowhere near enough, but with with kind of consistency. Um, it is very much dependent on what you want, but as you can see, I mean, that's barely touched the sides, really. I mean, still too watery for me, and that's not gonna, that's not gonna be good enough. So again, get more, get some more mix in there. Just get this uh, a little bit better for you. So it's about the same again, roughly. So this will, when it's done, it will start to get us to the mix. So let's just get this all mixed in here. I can feel, I mean, I'm not sure if you can tell from the consistency, but I can feel from the spoon that it's getting still, it's still watery, still a little bit too watery, really. Um, but I can tell from just the consistency of stirring it and how, how it's kind of moving through that it's definitely getting there. So, um, I mean, on average, I'll put it the actual amount that I use um, towards the bottom for you shortly. So, uh, again, you want to mix this in. Apologies for the... Uh, like that. So that's a good, good deal more. This, when it's done, should hopefully be a little bit closer now. So, in fact, you can see it there already starting to, to mix up. So... Um, Again, mix this around relatively nice. It should turn into a gloop. Again, this is a goo, guys. It's a gloop. It's not a water. So while yes, you've got you know your your imagination to use here, um, just try and get it a bit of a 
a kind of a glippiness. Now, um, I think one thing to probably point out, and that's going to take me nicely on to um, the kind of final points here for, for this particular bit, but um, the next bit is what I'm sure most of you um, are looking for, is how to make it green. While um, I use uh, something which is quite, um, quite commonplace, actually, it's called fluorescein. So um, fluorescein basically is, uh, it's something that you don't want to, you don't want to kind of keep around in front of children and whatnot. And if you have a look, it's actually used in kind of um, drainage cleaner and bits like that. So obviously for, for obvious reasons, you don't really want that around children. So um, I'd say you can try and wear kind of gloves wherever you can, but um, you know, again, eye protection, etc., is what they're going to warn you about. But generally guys, you know, this is only kind of like a teaspoon's amount. So I'm going to show you exactly uh, what we need. And it's this. It comes in um, various sizes. I mean, this is a 25 gram uh, bag. Again, I'll put the ingredients and cost approximates at the bottom. But it's uh, quite a straightforward powder. I'll show you exactly how that looks on the spoon now. Okay, so uh, next up, we've got it there. It's just over half a teaspoon. I mean, that's probably a little bit too much, really. But either way, um, this is what's going to make the green um, aspect of it come out, which I know that's obviously one of the things that staple on the quarter underwater videos. Um, so uh, I'm going to mix this in, and you might be able to uh, you might be able to just see elements of it going green as I mix this. So this again, guys, it's, be careful with this. Um, as you can kind of see, it's already starting to stain. Now, you're going to need to mix this for, for a while to get it all mixed in because you don't really want lots and lots and lots of black bits. So as you can see, it's turning into more of a, a green, the green side of things. So it's, so I'll mix this um, for a few minutes and I'll come back to you. Okay then guys, so as you can tell, uh, I'm now outside, uh, the sun's finally come out, so I um, just want to be, before I kind of show you the next step, so uh, thank you to everybody who's been uh, watching the, the vlog and, and whatnot over this kind of lockdown period, I appreciate it. it's provided some entertainment for a few hours for some of you, so thank you. Um, if I can please ask you to all to kind of uh, subscribe if you haven't already, again this, this channel is very much about uh, tips and different kind of fishing sessions when we can get back out, but um, in essence, you know, liking the video puts it in front of other people more than anything else you know makes youtube suggest that to other carp anglers so um give the, the video a like for me you've been much appreciated uh, leave a comment down below you know again what what type of flavors are you going to be trying out uh, on your next visit um you know please keep me up to date with how things are going so again check my instagram uh, so it's uh, mike's carp and adventures on instagram so um let's now get back on with this let's transfer this into this and see what it looks like Okay then guys, so uh, there is the finished article, so I need to give it a bit of a shake, I've let that kind of uh, settle for the last five minutes or so, so um, yeah, so effectively this is what we've got. I'll put the, uh, the kind of cost up officially, but when I did this before, I think this cost me somewhere around kind of £4.50ish. Um, in total. So obviously it's a lot cheaper than the 11.99, um, but stick around to the very end. I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like underneath the water, which obviously is the most important thing. Um, so again, please guys, uh, like, share, subscribe, etc. We'd be much appreciated. Um, and uh, please do let me know how you get on. Looking pretty good. 